my name is Stephanie Drogny and I am the Director of Compliance and Infection Prevention here at Northern Colorado Rehab Hospital and Long-Term Acute Care Hospital. I just want to spend a couple of minutes with you today talking about what we're doing to make sure that you are safe and your family member is safe while they are here in our care. Uh, in March, I actually had a patient's family member and I having a conversation as we were shutting down our facility um, to visitors and he said something that was very, very powerful to me. He said, Stephanie, if I am not able to be here, I am counting on you to take care of my mom and make sure that you are doing things that are safe, not only in your professional life, but also in your personal life so that I know that she is in good hands when she's here. And it's really has stuck with me over the course of the last couple of months as we have um, gone through this pandemic together. Uh, and I wanted to just express that simply because it's important that you know that that is our number one priority is keeping you safe and your family members safe. So just wanna talk about a couple of things that we're doing here um, to ensure that. Our first thing is that you will see I am wearing a mask. Well, our staff members are wearing a mask 100% of the time that they're in the facility. And we also are um, leaning towards the Joint Commission's recommendations that patients, if they're able to tolerate it, are also wearing masks 100% of the time when we're within six feet of each other. This is a couple of different things. When you have a mask on and I have a mask on, the actual likelihood of uh, infection uh, transmitting from one person to the other is very remote. Um, just even yesterday, uh, our Governor Polis and put out an executive order mandating masks across the state because we know that this is something that works. And we do that here as well as when we are in our personal lives. Our staff members not only wear our masks here, but we also um, are talking constantly and encouraging them to wear masks in their personal lives as well. We've also done a lot with our visitors. So when we first um, closed down in March um, due to the COVID pandemic, um, we actually eliminated all visitors here in the facility. We actually put up window um, uh, IDs so that you knew where your family member's room was so that there could be window to window uh, visitation, which is something really unique to this building. Not all buildings have the ability to have family members come up to the windows to be able to visit with their family members. We're really, really lucky that we, had not, we have not had an outbreak and we have been able to open back up to visitors. Right now, our visitor restrictions are you may have one visitor for the entirety of your stay. Um, with that, uh, we did have, have to put some regulation around what that one visitor could be. So um, we are being very, very cautious of out-of-state travel or travel to hot spots. So for that reason, our uh, visitors, we are asking that they have been in the state in Colorado for two weeks without travel before they're able to come into the facility just to reduce the possibility of accidental spread. That's not unique just to our visitors. We ask our vendors the same thing. And we also are very conscientious about where our staff members are going as well. And um, we're increasing our hand hygiene. We have worked really hard on um, using our PPE appropriately. So we have enough PPE to protect our patients. And we are continuing to monitor what's going on on a daily basis to ensure that we are keeping up with what the virus is doing. Please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me if you have any questions about our infection prevention here. I'm really proud to report that we have had both a joint commission and a state survey in the last month, and we had zero infection control findings, which is pretty rare. So I'm really proud of what we're doing here and would love to visit with you about it.